Hello from Hall of Flowers Ventura 2024. My name is Shelby. This interview is brought to you by Trees.io. We're here with Reese Benton from Posh Green. Thank you so much. I'm glad to run into you here at Hall of Flowers. Thank you. Are you having a good time? Yes, it was good to see people out and a uh, little uh, better than last time. They're in better spirits. So, yeah. Are you liking this venue? This was a cool venue. Uh, it's kind of cold like San Francisco. I'm like, wait. But it was it was better than it being so hot in Palm Springs, you know. Yeah. I'm like, we need to find a like a a, a middle point. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it was nice to get out honestly and see some people over yeah. So what got you into the cannabis industry originally? How'd you get your start? Talk about the journey. So to make it quick, I um I was a customer, a patient also. Um had moved from the from San Francisco to the south and my dad, we would say like crazy stuff like, oh girl, don't get caught in those back streets. And I'm like, are you kidding me right now? And so then I started getting anxiety when I was driving, like literally, um, because the roads are like different and I was, and I would get lost, you know, and one thing I'm good at other stuff, but I have no sense of direction when it comes to driving. And so I started using cannabis. And so make a long story short, um, I came back to San Francisco, I moved to like uh, Atlanta, um, after then, you know, I met people. Um, I lost everything in 2000, and I think it was uh, nine, and then I moved to Atlanta. So I uh, came back to Cali, and everybody, you know, that I met wanted weed, you know, and I needed to feed my son, so I started selling weed at first out there. And all the people that was like, I said, when I come back, I got you. Like, um, I'm gonna make sure you ain't buying like little stuff, you know, I, got, I know some people. And um, that's how I started. I went selling, you know, the, some, I went from like, I had a plan, just like, I was like, I'm gonna sell some little zips, like, you know, then I wanna sell some ounces, then I start selling pounds, and I just started getting pounds printed, and then I, and when I was there, and then, then the person that I was buying weed from, I was selling him weed, it was hella funny, like, and so then when I got back, he was one of my first customers, and then, um, yeah, and so, I, I stopped doing, selling weed for a minute, um, but I still knew people that solely, and then the equity program came, and it kind of like, you know, I was selling weed on weed maps as a delivery mm -hmm. first, mm -hmm. and I used to sell Yummy Karma back in the day. Like it's yeah. so funny, yeah. So then when I, <laughs> so this is before it got legalized, yep. And I was selling that weed. I was like, I'm gonna start a delivery service. Fuck it, like. And then they're like, Oh yeah, you're gonna go to jail. I'm like, what? And so then I was like, Well. So I'm gonna go to jail then. And so I got myself sellers from it and got my little website and uh, made my first little website on web join and then uh, got on Weed Maps. Man, I turned on at like five o'clock. I made a stack. I was like, oh yeah, this is what it is. I can bring down this weed and then like put my little logos on it and like got my little the people I knew that sold weed. I was buying like quarters for them or pounds from them and breaking it down. And every week I was like, I want to get more flavors, add more flavors to my menu. Mm -hmm more flavors to my menu and so then that was my goal like you know and that's how it all started <laughs> how many hall of flowers have you been to Did, have you got every single one every so i think i've lost count at this point like okay. uh, yeah i've been the, the first one was crazy it was so overwhelming that's when i was in my first license in 2018 mm -hmm. and i remember the office accountant just called me like and people were like oh you got a license you're the only person on and like god damn people are in my business this is crazy and it really was a reality check this ain't the streets no more this is like everybody knows your business and it's kind of scary you know because you could kind of stay low key and people will be wanting to rob you anyway, and I'm a girl, like, you know, and so um, at first navigating that, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't tell people I really owned the business for a long time, even with this, and then finally I had to start telling people, like, I'm an owner because I didn't want people to rob me, you know? And so uh, my first experience here was, like, crazy. First license, hell of things going on everybody's like talking to me and i'm like oh god i'm so overwhelmed with my first anxiety it uh, is i it's like i have i wasn't back i was like i just want to walk and we see what's going on uh -huh. you know, so. what do you look for when you come to hall of flowers or what kind of brands are stand out to you um so i like to look at new innovative brands and then also i like um i, I like good flower like good i want to see more classic strains come back a lot of customers ask for that 
with being the owner and a buyer, it's kind of different because I'm in the store, you know, unlike most owners. So I know my day to day, uh, like uh, the communications with the customers, what they're looking for, what they're asking for, you know. And so I like to come here and see if there's anything that the customers have been asking for, any new innovative product. And just to see how the industry is going and see what people are doing and where it's leading, you know, and to um, and meet new people and network. So, and I just want to talk about something like cool that you did do with your license for an event. Can you talk about something that happened at Outside Land? Oh yeah, I was the first person again. It's not that being first, so don't rush to be first, y'all. I just want to say that. <laughs> okay. So I was the first black woman to get the equity license and to be sole owner in the country because no one uh, has, everyone has investors and I don't have investors. So, yeah. So, and then like when we did Grasslands, we were the first people to do, like, I got a license to do Grasslands, you know what I'm trying to say? And so like, it was crazy. Like, it was the first one, the first ever in history, uh, like, thing to be put on like illegal cannabis sale concert at a festival yeah thank and you i think that's yeah awesome. and that was the start i had to use my license for that like so it was for everybody if i didn't they were not gonna let it go on if an equity person didn't do it and i was the only one that had their shit together and so that's why i was like kind of like the first person by default because i had my shit together and so yeah so i was literally done it first so we can everyone couldn't do it because they're really gonna let the show go on for nobody not kiva not cookies not nobody and so i think a lot of people don't know that like i if people like other people like crawl so i can walk but i'm walking so you motherfuckers can jump and some people don't give me the and some people don't give me the respect that i have earned you know and and even in the in the industry and it's okay you know i'm, I'm gonna be there you know and I and I can't take it personal, you know. So I mean, I'm on. It's a reflection of how they feel about they self I mean, Oh, I think that's awesome. Things that you've accomplished. So what's looking ahead? What do you got going on coming up? So I want to really focus on my brand, my product placement. We're, uh, hopefully we'll be in the next Hall of Flowers. Now hopefully we will be in the next Hall of Flowers as an equity brand. Um, and we have our affordable pre-rolls and then our flowers that we want to collab. We'll find, you know, partners, no collabs, find partners that will grow for us in different states and kind of push the products for when it is, you know, become federally legal. And in the commerce comes, you know, like the federal commerce so we can be able to strategize and on product placement. And that's my the most important focus. Can't have a dispensary everywhere, but I can have products everywhere. So, and um, yeah. What advice do you have for a woman who wants to be as successful as you are in the cannabis industry? Uh, ha, ha. Oh, guys, please invest in something else. No, no, no. Like, I really like right now. Yeah, but for real, if you want to really do it, um, you need to have, like, I've done it all by myself. I didn't have any family money. I didn't have any, like, friend money, anything like that. I was lucky enough to sell another business in Canvas, my first delivery license to buy my dispensary. I mean, to get my dispensary going. Um, and so, yeah, but how, you need a strong team. This is, this is not for the week. When I say not for the week, not for the week. If you can't handle your day-to-day -day operations at work and you get frustrated and you want to give up, this ain't for you because you're going to lose every dollar I, it's people that have lost everything they have invested and they have nothing and they came in with homes and all kind of stuff, other businesses. And honestly, I'm too deep in to leave, but if I wasn't, I would be out this bitch. <laughs> yeah, but you got to come, you got to be here. And I got to show up because I'm in and I'm in the inspiration for a lot of people, especially in equity, because I made it happen. And I made it happen without the state. The state didn't, the city didn't give me money until after. I already had opened. I had to print that own money, and thank God it was some partnerships that happened where I was able to come up on a couple hundred grand, you know, and then from me strategizing, you know, and um, strategizing with a little bit, and it, and I'm still here, you yeah. know, so I'm doing something right. Yeah.
I'm so excited to see your growth and posh green control and excited to see you at every Hall of Flowers in the future. I know, and our fun, I know, and the star was in y'all real still y'all stuff last time in Sacramento. It was yeah. so funny. It was like, girl, get out of here. I we were locked up. Oh God. We've had a lot of good memories. We had a lot of good memories when I was like, oh, I got an idea one that and it just didn't work. I know that this girl like. I'm like, oh, we can get out the back. Let's lock the door in the front. And we're going to get out the back of this house. Like, we were stuck in an Airbnb. Remember, yeah. high in sale, trying to go to dinner. <laughs> like, we have a lot of good memories together. Like, I really have supported the company you work for and work with uh, for a long time. And I remember their chips, and I wish they were coming back. I was singing chips, and it was the best thing ever in my little posh box. So we had the first, like... Um, like box where it's like a munchie pack and it had all these things on it and it had all this stuff in it and you you take it to the movies and travel with it and so the green door tried to copy I remember where I seen it on the news I was so fit <laughs> um but yeah we had a travel pack so you come up and it has like a Izzy in there it had like the chips and had like an eighth it's either like independent on what you like flowers a dab or we like edibles it was pretty cool and it's like it was and I want to bring that back again like in a in a, in a better way like, it's really like more posh, you know, logo has changed and all that. Uh huh. It's been a long journey and I'm happy to see you here too and to see some of the people that I've started with. Mm-hmm. You know? Thank you again so much. How can we follow along with Posh Green and you? Well, I'm on Instagram. It's Posh and we are Shadow Band. So if you don't type the whole thing in, you will not get us. Posh, P O S H, Green, Collective. Oh, excuse me. No, 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 no. Posh, P-O-S-H, Green, Cannabis Boutique, and that's short, B-T-Q. So Cannabis B-T-Q, and you'll get us. And if you can't find that, you can go to my personal Instagram, then you can tap the link in my bio. It's Clean Grease B, and I'm also Shadow Band. Worth the lot of fun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Shelby from Respect My Region. We're going to get back to Hollow Flowers 2024, Ventura. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shelby. Bye.